In this short presentation, we'll cover information and tips for graphics that are required for an event pilot app implementation. We're going to be looking at static images, dynamic images, now screen, banners, and colors in the app. Some key images in the app cannot be changed once the app is submitted to the App Store. Let's start with those core static images. First, your app needs an icon. It's what attendees look for on their devices when they attend your event. So you want to use a design they can, one, associate with your event, and two, easily find on their phone. The more visual, the better. Avoid text as much as possible since the icon's lowest resolution is 57 by 57 pixels. While a tiny icon is displayed on the device, the large icon graphic appears in the browser version of the stores. It's the first impression your attendees will have with the app, and we recommend professionally designed graphics. For events within EventPilot Express or Enterprise Apps, the thumbnail version of the icon appears as well for downloading and activating events into the Shell app. Once the app is installed, it opens by displaying your launch screen. It should be beautiful and match the branding of your conference. The launch graphics are required for the phone and taller iPhone in portrait mode, tablet, and landscape sizes. Enterprise apps also display the launch graphic, but the image should be branded to your organization since the app can load multiple different events into it. When creating the static items, also prepare the app display name in the store and on the device, as well as App Store keywords. Some static items can be changed by resubmitting the app later if absolutely necessary. However, it's better to get it right the first time. There are other required images you can change with data updates in the app. These are dynamic images. For events that load into the Enterprise or EventPilot Express app, you have the opportunity to display an event-specific splash screen. The image appears on your event background color, in this example, a charcoal gray. If you purchase the advertisement module for your standard app, you can also display a branded splash screen directly after the app launch screen and give your app sponsor a premium experience in the app. This three-second view is simply an image that fades in on top of your launch screen. Remember that one was branded to your event. And then it animates into the first screen of your app. The splash image appears on top of a colored background, your event color. In this example, it's a nice blue. Now, to create the best effect, we recommend using a shaped graphic with a transparent background. The image on the left looks stunning, the one on the right rather boring and bland. Help your sponsors to look good by ensuring they provide a transparent image that works well when displayed on top of your event color. After the splash screen, the app animates into your first tab, the Home or Now screen. Here you can continue your customization with branded banner images for your event. These banner images are required in different dimensions and orientations such as the phone portrait and landscape views, as well as tablet portrait and landscape views. The Now or Home screen in EventPilot is highly customizable to create the best user experience specifically designed for your event. The Now screen is a dynamic page on which you can display a set of images and create a powerful visual for your app that differentiates the app from all others and impresses your attendees. These Now screen images can be preset and set up to only appear at certain times. For example, before your conference, you may display the link to hotel information, while during the conference or the first day of the event, you could announce the reception. The graphics appear within a single column table and can be linked to a variety of areas, such as pages or sections within the app, like your program tracks, uh, the session or speaker list, and also additional content such as bus schedules or any external web links to surveys or photo galleries to enrich your mobile program. Notice how in this example, the graphic is a single coherent image that is simply sliced into horizontal bars and designed specifically for the width of a mobile phone. When you rotate the phone or when the graphics appear on a tablet device with a much wider screen, the single table row that holds the image is filled with your specific background color. In this case, nearly black, except the sponsor ad, which uses a blue color. 
This creates a very nice seamless blending effect. So avoid gradients on the edges of the images to create a coherent overall graphic that works well in the different orientations. If most of your attendees use tablets, you may want to consider to focus your attention designing for tablets or use a middle ground approach with the graphics somewhere in between. The graphics appear scaled within the cell and any spacing around it is filled with your specified color. In this example, white. So you don't see the edges of the images in the view, so it looks great on phones and tablets in portrait and landscape mode. If you have purchased the advertisement module, banner ad images appear above session descriptions. Similar to the Now screen images, you can upload the ad images and publish them to the app. Just like on the Now screen, they appear within a cell for which you can define the background color. Make it match the image to create the seamless blending regardless of the orientation or screen dimension. Here as well, avoid gradients or the images won't blend into the background and the edges become visible. In addition to the images, you also have control over your app color to help reinforce your branding and enable color coding in your program. Your main event color that is used behind your splash image is also repeated on core navigation items. The navigation bar on top uses your color as well as individual segment banners within detail views or the search results, for example. Your event color should be dark enough so users are able to read the white text. Each session in your program is assigned to a category and you can define the color for each one. The color coding makes it easy for your attendees when building their schedule to differentiate either by session type or discipline, whichever you choose for your category tracks. The example here on the left shows a nice gradient effect from dark blue to teal, which actually matched the event now screen imagery. The example on the right uses a bright color scheme that makes recognizing the session type very easy. To pick colors that beautifully match, try creating your own theme in color tools like Cooler. Ask your project manager at a T for an Adobe Illustrator template with all the required image sizes to get your project started and make it easy for your graphic designer. Or contact us for our recommendation for a professional designer.